children last day we have done a few of the questions from exercise 6.5 and today some more questions from exercise 6.5 so as we will start today's uh, that um, remaining questions of exercise 6.5 remember all these questions are very very important for the perspective of the exam so please you uh, practice time and again and whenever you will practice don't practice only the theoretical part draw the diagram as well if you don't uh, draw the diagram then what will happen in exam you will forget because geometry last time also I told that half of the thing is uh, from the diagram if you are able to draw the diagram correctly then more or less your half of the work is over and whatever you write in the theory also most of the thing will write from the diagram okay so with that we'll start with the exercise 6.5 question number 6 question number 6 you see it is given that ABC is an isolated triangle, equilateral triangle or side AB. So question number 6. A, B, C. Twice A. Twice A. And this is the altitude. This is D. BD equal to CD. Then BD equal to DC equal to BC by 2 equal to twice A by 2 equal to A. Equal to A. Now what you have to do? find each of the altitude. Now as it is an equilateral triangle, so all the three altitudes will be equal. All the three altitudes will be equal. Now what is altitude? Altitude is the perpendicular drawn from vertex to the base. Drawn from vertex to the base. And uh, as it is the equilateral triangle, so all the altitude will be also equal. And also, altitude is nothing but medium or for the equilateral triangle as well. So let's see, start from writing a triangle from right angle triangle A D B we get A D square plus B D square equal to AD square AD square B equal how much? A square twice A whole square AD square equal to 4 A square minus A square so AD equal to root over 3 A square implies AD equal to root 3 A. This is the answer. This is the length of the altitude of an equilateral triangle. Remember, this question, question number 6 and question number 16 are same. Almost 16 also, almost same. 16, what you have to do? You have to show that altitude is 4 times the square of the altitude equal to 3 times the square of the any side, square of any side. Okay. So question number six and sixteen are same. Now let's see question number seventy-seven. Question number seven. Now question number seven. What is the diagram? <coughs> diagram. It is a rhombus. So draw a rhombus. Draw a rhombus A, B, C, D. Now, A, C, and B, D 
are two diagonals. Now, do you remember what is the criteria of the diagonal of a rhombus? Do you remember what is the criteria or what is the properties of a, of a rhombus? Rhombus, all sides are equal. All sides are equal. AB equal to BC equal to CD equal to DA. Angles are not equal. If angles are equal, then it will be square. This is the difference between the square and the rhombus. Next difference is that diagonals AC and BD are not equal. In square, diagonals are equal. Next point that for the purpose of the rhombus is that the diagonal of uh, both the diagonals bisect each other at right angles. Both the diagonals bisect each other at right angles. This one equal to this, this one equal to this. Okay? So now, <coughs> right, from, from right angle triangle, from right angle triangle, a O B we get A B square equal to A O square plus B O square A B square now what is A O square? A O is the half of A C A O equal to A O equal to half of AC, BO equal to half of BD. Why? Because they are perpendicular bisector. So half of AC, half of BD, 1 by 4 AC square. 1 by 4 BD square implies AB square equal to AC square plus BD square by 4 4 AB square AC square plus BD square then what happened? AB square AB square AB square AB square equal to AC square plus BD square Now you see A B square B C square C D square D A square equal to A C square plus B D square. Why? Because all the each side of an of a rhombus are equal. So A B replaced by B C replaced by C D replaced by DA. So this is question number 7. Okay? Now, question number 8. Question number 8. See, diagram already given. Diagram already given. So please draw the diagram. A, B, C, A, B, C, D, E, F, this is O, so join, A, O, join B, O, 
Joy no C. Joy no C. Okay? Then. Now, according to this question, what do you have to do? How many triangles? Can you notice that here, actually, how many triangles are there? Apart from the original triangle. Apart from the original triangle, there are six triangles. One, two, three, four, five, six. And we have to take alternate triangle. If we are taking this one, then we have to take this one. As we are taking this one, then we have to take this one. So this three triangle you use by Pythagoras theorem. And then you convert the common part. Okay. So first of all you write O comma A O comma A semicolon O comma B and O comma C are joined. Therefore, from right angle triangle A F O we get what we get A F square plus O F square equal to <coughs> according to the equation we have to write so O A square O A square okay then you see a f square equal to o f square minus o f square. Now just rearrange because ultimately we need this side only. So that's why otherwise afterward also you can do no problem. This is equation number one. Then from Right angle triangle B D O we get B D square plus O D square equal to O B square. Yes or not? So ultimately, OB squared minus minus OD squared equal to BD squared equation number 2. And similarly, similarly, from Right angle triangle C E O we get we get O C square minus O E square equal to C F square C E square sorry C E square C E square Okay Equation number 3 Now after that nothing else You just you add all these 3 1 plus 2 plus 3 So if we add what we will get One plus two plus three. So see, O F square minus O F square plus O B square minus O D square plus O C square minus O E square equal to A F square. 
प्लस बी डी स्क्वायर प्लस सी ई स्क्वायर ना अल्टीमेटली ये जस्ट रूडिंग ए रेंज ओ ए स्क्वायर ओ बी स्क्वायर ओ सी स्क्वायर ओ डी स्क्वायर ओ ई स्क्वायर ओ एफ स्क्वायर इक्वल टू ए एफ स्क्वायर बी डी स्क्वायर प्लस सी ई स्क्वायर दिस इज द सोल्यूशन फॉर रुमान वन एट रुमान वन ओके एट रुमान वन सोल्यूशन नाउ सी सेकेंड पार्ट सी वी हैव यूज थ्री ऑर्डरनेट ट्रेंडर्स Similarly, you will use another three ordinate triangles. This one, this one, this one. In same way, you will get equation one, equation two, equation three. And after that, you will get O B square, O S square plus O B square plus O C square minus O D square minus O E square minus O F square. In place of this one, in place of this one, what will you get? You will get a uh, B F square. Plus C D square plus A E square. Clear? Now this one and whatever you get the next another three triangle will be same. So therefore F square plus B D square plus C square equal to B F square plus C D square plus A E square. Clear? So with this I'll conclude for uh, still this much. and then in my next video in my next class i'll do question number 9 and 1 till that time bye bye